on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. You're right, you won $74,000. Hey, Tom, you won $125,000. I'll go for it. Gosh, I'm sorry, Tom. It's not the right answer. Mm. But you leave here with $32,000. And the winner is Andres Rivera. You're right for $32,000. Yeah, it was South Carolina. You won $24,000. You won $100,000. I'm going to phone a friend. George Carlin, Billy Crystal, Steve Martin. You got seven seconds. I'm just going to walk away here. No idea at all. No huh? idea. Here you offer $125,000, Andre. Yeah. The winner is Darren Despace. And now, from New York City, night nine of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi, everybody. And into week two we go on a football night here on ABC. Jets and the Patriots on our own team of 11 going for $1 million. And so far, no one's been able to capture that big, elusive prize. But maybe tonight, maybe this man, Darren Despain from San Diego, California, who was here last night and continues in the hot seat tonight. Nice to uh, have you back on our show. Nice to be back. You went out last night. You uh, palled around with another winner from the show, Tom Pajak. That's right. What'd you guys do? What'd you big winners do here in, in New York City? <laughs> well, didn't do a whole lot. We, we ate dinner. But on, on the way back to, uh, to the hotel, we decided to pull a little prank on one of my phone friends. Tom, the, the guy from last night, uh, played your part. <laughs> this guy pretended he was me? That's right. You know, that's a felony crime. <laughs> <laughs> he was a little nervous. So what did he do? Um, he called Brian. And so I got on the phone and I... I said, uh, yeah, Brian, I have a question here for you. Um, who is the hottest chick from the office? <laughs> and then I proceeded to give them four names. And some of them were there listening on speakerphone. Oh. And, it, and incidentally, just between us, who is the hottest chick in the office? I'm afraid I can't say, give you You've you got to go back to that office. Don't say a word. <laughs> Anyway, Darren, it's great to have you here. He's from San Diego, California, just really getting started on our show. He's won $8,000. He is seven questions away from winning $1 million, and the rules, as you know, are quite simple. The more questions you get right, the more money you win. And once you reach the $32,000 level, you're guaranteed to leave with at least that much money. You've got two lifelines left, as you said, 50-50, where the computer will take away two of the wrong answers, leaving the one correct and one wrong answer. And you can phone a friend if you have any more phone friends. Uh, our friends at AT&T will be happy to get them on the line and see how they feel about helping you out. Uh, you've already asked the audience for help, so we've lost that lifeline. But are you ready to go, Darren? I am. I think you are. Audience, shall we get going? Let's do it. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Here we go for $16,000. What virtuoso performer is known as the Queen of Soul? Aretha Franklin, Patti LaBelle, Anita Baker, Natalie Cole. I have a hunch on this one, but I don't know how sure I am. Well, we've got the two lifelines, and I do want to remind you, Darren, that if you miss it, it'll be reduced to 1,000. Certainly. You got 50-50, and you've got uh, phone a friend. I think I'm going to try to improve my odds by phoning a friend, and I need to decide who I want to call. Uh-huh. How about the hottest chick in the office? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she could call me. <laughs> she probably will after this. Um, you know, I think I'll call Brian. Want to call Brian? I'll use my lifeline and phone a friend if he's still my friend. Is this the guy you called last this night? This is. Oh, great. All right. Hey, our friends at AT&T will get Brian on the line. Hello? Hello, Brian. Yes, Regis. How are you? <laughs> no, it's Tom again. <laughs> Just kidding, oh, Brian. Can you call back later? No. I have an important call. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. This is the real Regis Philbin. Anyway. Hi, Regis. How's Darren doing? 
He's doing pretty good, but he needs your help right now. Uh-oh. I know you can't see us, but he's won $8,000. He's going for $16,000. Kind of hung up on a question here. When he gets on the line, he will give you the question and the four possible answers. One of them's the right answer. So with the next voice you hear will be Darren. And Darren, you've got 30 seconds starting right now. What virtuoso performer is known as the Queen of Soul? Aretha Franklin, Patti LaBelle, Anita Baker, or Natalie Cole? Darren, the answer is A, Aretha Franklin. Um, give me a confidence interval on there. Does that include one? 95 to 100 percent confidence on that. That sounds pretty good. Thank All you. Right. As a mathematician, 100 percent means a great deal, huh? Yes, it does. 95 is pretty good too. Yes. Um, that was my original hunch, so I will go with A. All right, Aretha that's going to be your final answer, then, that Darren. Will be. He says Aretha Franklin. Yes, indeed, it's Aretha Franklin. <laughs> You won $16,000. You're going for $32,000. We'll be right back to see how he does in a moment. <laughs> 31-year-old Darren Despain, San Diego, California, has just won $16,000, going for $32,000, which is an important level. And his friend Joe Blue is in the audience. Hi, Joe. Hi, Regis. All right, let's, uh, let's go to work here, okay? You're going for $32,000, an important level, an important question. Let's play. <laughs> what religious leader moved the Mormon church to the Great Salt Lake region of Utah? Joseph Smith, Sidney Rigdon, Brigham Young, Lyman White. I believe I know this one. Good. And the answer is C, Brigham Young. C, Brigham Young. Yes. Final answer? That is my final answer. Brigham Young was the man. You've won $32,000. Hey, there's your name on it. Right there. Okay, you're five questions away now from a million. You've got one lifeline left, the 50-50. Here we go for $64,000. How many men have walked on the moon? Seven, 12, 19, 23. Hmm. Um, I better take my 50-50. All right, fine, sure. Computer, would you please take away two of the wrong answers for Darren, leaving one wrong answer and the correct one, please. So it's uh, seven or twelve have walked on the moon. I believe I'm going to say A, seven. Thought about this? As much as uh, I can come up with in my mind, yes. So seven? Yes. More or less a guess, isn't it? Um, yes. Final answer? Final answer. I'm sorry, Darren. It was 12. It was 12. There you go. Well, let's have a nice hand for Darren Despain. Won $32,000. Good luck to you, pal. Good luck. That was a tough, tough question, but he did have a 50% chance of getting it right. Too bad. Right now, we've got 10 new contestants ready to go. Who are they tonight? Let's find out. And they are Michelle Weatherby, Clarksville, Georgia. Michael Booth, Cincinnati, Ohio. Mark Bourne, Los Angeles, California. Jennifer Mullins, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Grant Austin, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. David Jorgensen, Indianapolis, Indiana. Richard Harrison, Chandler, Arizona. Nathan Silverman, Santa Ana, California. Dan Dagey, Baltimore, Maryland. And Ladeen Inwe, Orem, Utah. All right, contestants, congratulations on getting this far. But now we're going to find out which one of you will get the chance to play for $1 million. Here's how we do it. In a moment, a question, four answers will appear 
on your screens. The one who puts those answers in the correct order in the fastest time will be our next player. Now, audience, we need a complete silence here. Ready? Here's the question. Put the following Robert Redford movies in order of their theatrical release, beginning with the most recent. The Natural, Barefoot in the Park, Up Close and Personal, Indecent Proposal. Okay, time's up. Well, let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the most recent Robert Redford movie, Up Close and Personal, Indecent Proposal, The Natural, Barefoot in the Park. There you have it. Let's see who got it right. And in the fastest time, and the winner is Dan Dagey. Hey, Dan, congratulations. Dan, want to go for a million dollars? Come on, let's do it. Here we go. Dan Dakey from uh, Baltimore, Maryland, 22 years old. Nice to have you here on the show. Thank you. Friend of yours, Doug, in the audience. Nice to see you, Doug. Mm -hmm. All right, so Dan, uh, you're a customer service rep, it says, for uh, an apartment agency. Mm -hmm. So you want to be an actor someday, right? Mm -hmm. Who do you admire the most? Uh, probably Michael Douglas. Really? Can, can you do him at all? Because, you, you know, you've got the coloring, you've got the blonde hair, blue eyes. I if can. I played his father, Kirk Douglas, could you do Michael? No, I couldn't. Well, I can't either, so we're even. <laughs> All right, you know the rules, don't you? You know about your lifelines. You've got three of them, 50-50. Ask the audience and phone a friend. Ready to go? Yeah. All right, let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Yeah! Here we go. Okay. Dan Dagey, here's your $100 question. Which of the following words comes after stop and drop in a popular fire safety slogan? Hop, roll, go, moonwalk. Uh, it's B, roll. B, roll. Stop, drop, roll. Final answer? Yes. You're right. You won $100. Very good. It's roll. $200. Here it is. Who is Peter Pan's one-handed nemesis? Captain Hook? Captain Stubing? Dr. Hook, Captain Morgan. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with A, Captain Hook. Captain Hook. Final answer? Final answer. Yes, indeed, Captain Hook. For Peter Pan's nemesis, who won 200 for $300. Check it out. Which of Santa's reindeer is also the name of a common household cleanser? Dasher, Vixen, Comet, Blitzen. It's C, Comet. C, Comet. Final answer? Final answer. You bet it was Comet, $300. All right, for $500. In Chinese philosophy, what is the opposite of yin? Yan, yang, yen, yo. Um, I'm going to say B, yang. Final answer? Final answer. You're right, it's Yang. Dan doing good here. All right, Dan, for $1,000, here we go. There once was a man from Nantucket is the first line of what type of poem? Sonnet, Tonka, Haiku, Limerick. I'm gonna use a lifeline. Uh, ask the audience. Want to ask the audience? Sure. Okay, audience, need a little help here? If you're ready on your keypads using A, B, C, or D, please vote now. Eighty-eight percent say it's a limerick. Well, that's an overwhelming number, so I'm going to go with D, limerick. All right, final answer. Final answer. He says limerick, they say limerick. It's a limerick. You've won $1,000. We'll be right back.
Dan Dagey from Baltimore, Maryland is in our hot seat right now. Incidentally, you've won a thousand, you're going for two thousand, and uh, let's play. Here we go. <laughs> now, Dan, listen to me. If you face north and then you turn 90 degrees to the left three times in a row, which way are you facing? Face north. Turn 90 degrees to the left three times. Which way are you facing? North, south, east, west. Did I'm pretty good, you think? Yeah. C. Final answer? Yes. If you did it three times in a row, you'd be facing east. You're absolutely right. One two thousand. Here it is for four thousand dollars. What job made Wolfman Jack famous? Graffiti artist, disc jockey, werewolf, tattoo artist. Wolfman Jack. It's B. Disc jockey. Final answer. Final answer. Wolfman Jack was indeed a disc jockey. You're right for four thousand dollars. You're eight questions away from a million. You're going for 8,000. Take a look. Where did author Henry David Thoreau spend two years in a hut in search of a simpler life? Walden Pond, Brook Farm, Woods Hole, Lake George. And, uh, I want to use a lifeline. Um, phone a friend. Want to phone somebody? Who do you want to call? Uh, Martin. Martin, friend of yours? Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> All right, we'll get Martin on the line. AT&T will help us find him. We'll put him on and see if he can help. Hello? Hello, Martin. Yeah. Hi, Regis Philbin here from ABC's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Yeah, how are you? Fine, thank you. I'm here with Dan. Needs a little help on a, on a question. He's won 4,000. He's oh, going... No. What's that? Well, I hope I can help. Well, he's going for 8,000, so it's kind of important. So he'll give you the question, the four possible answers. One of them is the right answer. Dan uh, will be giving you that in just a moment. You've got 30 seconds, Dan. starts right now. Okay, 30 seconds. Where did Arthur Henry David Thoreau spend two years in a hut in search of a simpler life? Is it A, Walden Pond, B, Brook Farm, C, Woods Hole, or D, Lake George? Walton Pond. Are you sure? Yes. You're positive? Yes. All right. You're sure, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm sure. All right, I guess I'll go with it. Okay. Sounded like you disagreed with him a little bit. He's an English major, so I'm going to agree with him. Um, I'm going to go with what he said. A. Walton, Walton Pond. Pond. Final answer? Final answer. He's right. You're right. You've won eight thousand dollars. Okay, Dan. Just be advised. In here, if you miss, you'll be reduced to one thousand dollars. But we're going for sixteen thousand, and here it is. Latino sensation Ricky Martin was a member of which of the following boy bands? New Kids on the Block, Menudo. Backstreet Boys, Kiss. It's B, Menudo. Final answer? Final answer. You a Ricky Martin fan, are you? Not really. <laughs> Doesn't make any difference. You're right. You won $16,000. All right, now you understand, if you get to this $32,000 level, that's yours to keep, okay? Mm -hmm. Six questions away from a million. Take a look. 
In a classic play, what character says, I have always depended on the kindness of strangers? Maggie the Cat, Stella Kowalski, Blanche Dubois, Laura Wingfield. I'm gonna take my final lifeline. 50-50. All right, fine. Uh, computer, please take away two of the wrong answers for Dan leaving one wrong answer and the correct one. So the Stella like Kowalski, five. Blanche Dubois. Do you remember this play at all, this movie? Streetcar Named Desire. Right. If you miss, you'll lose 15,000. If you get it, you can't go away with less than 32. I have a gut feeling, I have a, I have a hunch to see Blanche Dubois. Want to make that hunch your final answer? Yes. Blanche Dubois or Stella? It was Blanche, you won $32,000. You've done very well. Going for 64,005 away from a million. We'll be right back in just a moment. Don't go away. There it is, $32,000. What are you going to do with this million when you win it? Uh, probably buy a 4x4 four four Jeep. That's it? Mm -hmm. See what else I have left over. Yeah. I think you'll have a lot left, though. <laughs> All right, so you've won 32. We're going for 64. Five questions away from a million, Dan. Let's play. <laughs> Who composed the Blue Danube Waltz? Johann Strauss, Jr., Ludwig van Beethoven, Frederick Chopin, Franz Schubert. You're not going to lose anything. There's nothing to lose here. It's a free guess, if you don't know. I'm, I'm going to go with D, then. Any particular reason? It sounds like a nice name. <laughs> it is a nice name, isn't it? Franz Schubert. All right. That's your, that's your guess? Yes. And that's your final answer? Yes. I'm sorry, it's not Franz Schubert, no. Johann Strauss, Jr. But you've won $32,000, Dan. I'm glad to give it to you, and thanks very much, my man. Good luck to you. Well, it was a struggle. Yeah, he struggled to get there, but with the help of his lifelines, he walked away with $32,000. Not bad for a half an evening's work. But we've still got nine contestants itching to get into the hot seat. So here is the next fastest finger question. Here it comes. Put the following John Grisham novels in order of their release, starting with the earliest. The Testament, The Chamber, The Firm, A Time to Kill. All right, good enough. Time is up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest. A time to Kill, The Firm, The Chamber, The Testament. That's the right order. Let's see who got it right. And in the fastest time, and the winner is Brent Austin. Hey, Brent. Congratulations. Are you a big Christian fan, are you? Ready to play? Come on, let's go. All right, Brent. Good luck. Brent Austin from Oklahoma City. I've seen you before, haven't I? You have, Regis. Uh, show five of the first series. That's right. Here. 
you're allowed to come back twice within two years, and so you made it again. Yeah. And last time, you just lost the fastest finger contest oh, by yeah. a, a fraction of a second. Yeah, just by 11 hundredths of a, of a second. Uh-huh. Uh, All right, and your mom is in the oil. She was here last time, right? Yes, she Hi, was. Hi, Gail. How you doing? Hi, Regis. Nice to see you. All right, Brent, you're a bankruptcy lawyer. Right. Which means you're going to handle your million in, in <laughs> tip-top shape. Yeah, that means I better not be going there anytime soon, right? <laughs> All right, Brent, uh, good luck to you. You know the rules. You know about the lifelines, 50-50. You can ask the audience. You can phone a friend. If you're ready, let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> Here it is for $100. Which of the following was a toy featured in the movie Toy Story? Mr. Carrot Head, Mr. Zucchini Head, Mr. Apple Head, Mr. Potato Head. Thanks, heavens, I have a seven-year-old nephew who got me to watch this with him. I know it's uh, D, Mr. Potato Head. Mr. Potato Head? Final answer? Final answer. As played by Don Rickles, absolutely right, Mr. Potato Head. All right, for $200, what do you call two baseball games played consecutively on the same day? Dutch Treat, Back Nine, Two for Tuesday, Double Header. Oh, I... There's some temptations there, but I think I'll go with D, double header. Double header, final answer? Final answer. Sure, it's a double header. You're right, the $200. $300, here it comes. What is the name of the U.S. president's airplane? Air Force One, Aircraft One, USS Prez, first plane. Uh, we'll, we'll go with A, Air Force One. Air Force One, president's plane, final answer. Final answer. It's a good one. You've won $300. $500. What type of fabric is made from a sheep's fleece? Polyester, wool, cotton, silk. Oh, we, yeah, it would have to be B, wool. Wool, final answer. Final answer. Wool's a good one. It is. You're absolutely right. You've won $500. For a thousand dollars, who are Lamar's exercises specifically designed for? Elderly, ballet dancers, firemen, pregnant women. Well, thank heavens D came up what it was. I was getting a little worried there for a second, but the answer is D, <laughs> pregnant women. You know, so was I. <laughs> final answer? Uh, final answer. Yes, indeed, pregnant women, Lamar, $1,000. Okay, Brent, you're doing very well. Doing just fine here. $2,000. Check it out. In the film Philadelphia, what was the profession of Denzel Washington's character? A lawyer, a doctor, a soldier, therapist. Uh, as I recall, Denzel Washington represented Tom Hanks in that movie, uh, in, in the suit that he filed. So, uh, yes, it would have to be a lawyer. Confident? Pretty confident, yes. Final answer? Final answer. Yes, indeed, it was a lawyer. You won $2,000. When we come back, you're going to uh, go for $4,000, all right? We'll be right back in just a moment, so don't go away. You stay right there. We'll be back. Brent Austin from Oklahoma City in our hot seat right now. How are you feeling up there, Mom? I feel terrific. Uh, are you nervous at all? Not a bit. He can do it. No kidding. Mother's got nerves of steel. I wish he'd give some of them to me right now. <laughs> I could use them. Now, you're doing pretty well. You've won $2,000. We're going for $4,000. Okay, let's play. Here we go. $4,000, what pigment found within plants allows them to carry out the process of photosynthesis? Carbon dioxide, chloroform, chlorohydrate, chlorophyll. Gosh, and they said the biology class in high school would never come in handy, and, and it does. The mm -hmm. answer is D, chlorophyll. Chlorophyll. You remember that? I sure hope I do. <laughs> that's, that's what my memory is. is Final answer? Final answer. You got a good memory, it's chlorophyll, $4,000.
$8,000, Brent. Check it out. What school of higher learning was founded by former U.S. President Thomas Jefferson? American University. Rutgers University. University of Virginia. William and Mary. Oh, that's a beautiful, beautiful school. The University of Virginia. See. University of Virginia, founded by Thomas Jefferson. Yes. Final answer? Yes, it is. You're right, Thomas Jefferson, University of Virginia. All right, we're getting up there. Now you're going for 16,000. If you miss in here, you'll be reduced to $1,000. You know that. Here's the question. What American folk artist, known for portraying scenes of rural life, didn't begin painting until her 70s? Grandma Moses, Georgia O'Keeffe, Diane Arpas, Mary Cassatt. Well, my first thought... I'll tell you what, Regis, let's, let's use the 50-50 on this. Want to go to 50-50? Yeah. Okay. Computer, would you please take away two of the wrong answers, leaving one wrong and the correct answer, please. Well, that's what I figured you'd do. <laughs> uh... Uh, why don't we ask the audience? All right. right, sure. Audience, need a little help here? You're ready on your keypads using A or B. Please vote now. Sixty-six percent feel it's Grandma Moses. Thirty-four say Georgia O'Keeffe. Gosh, Regis, when the question first went up there, the first thought that left into my mind was Grandma Moses. Let's, let's go ahead and go with that, Grandma Moses. First instinct, Grandma Moses. Yeah, it was. Final answer? <sighs> Final answer. It took two lifelines, but you got it. You won $16,000. We move on now to $32,000. Which of these singers was not one of the Supremes? Martha Reeves, Mary Wilson, Florence Ballard, Diana Ross. Well, my memory certainly is, is that it was Martha Reeves and the Mandelas. And I know Mary Wilson and Diana Ross were in the Supremes for sure. I'm pretty sure Florence Ballard was the third member of it. So we'll, we'll, we'll go with A. Martha Reeves. Martha Reeves. Final answer? Final answer. You're right, she sang with the Vandella. $32,000. Oh. oh, it's a lot harder up here. Oh. Here it is, pal. $32,000, wow. right there. All right, here it is. For 64000 you're five questions away from a million. One lifeline left. What is the length of a modern official marathon? 25.7 miles, 26 miles, 26.2 miles, 27 miles. A modern official marathon. Fortunately, I do know this uh, because they have those couple of about 300 yards at the end of it. It is 26.2 miles. See. How do you know that? It, it, one of those things that just sticks in your mind. I have no idea why it's there. Final answer? Final answer. It stuck pretty good. It's 26.2 miles. Yes, indeed. Good for you. 64,000 going for 125,000. One lifeline left. We'll be right back. See how he does. Hey, Brent, here's what it is. No bankruptcy around here. $64,000 waiting wow. for you. Well, let's see how you do now on uh, the 125. This is serious money. $125,000. Four questions away from the million. Ready to take a look? Let's take a look. Let's play. What talk show host once worked as an aide on Robert F. Kennedy's presidential campaign? 
Jay Leno, Jerry Springer, Maury Povich, Lisa Gibbons. I've got some, I've got some parts on that, but... Still have one lifeline, you know, um, you can phone anybody you'd like. going to need to use the phone to print. I'm just trying to figure out which one of them to sure. use. AT&T, please help us out. Get John on the line. See if he can help out Brent. Hello? Hello, John. Yes. Hi, Regis Philbin from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Hi, Regis. How are you? We're fine. Well, we need a little help here. Uh-oh. Brent is uh, hung up on a, a question. He's won 64000 going for $125,000, so kind of important. He'll oh, give you yeah. the question, the four possible answers. One of them is the right answer. Next voice you hear will be Brent. Brent, you have 30 seconds, starting right now. John, what talk show host once worked as an aide on Robert F. Kennedy's presidential campaign? Is it Jay Leno, Jerry Springer, Maury Povich, Lisa Gibbons? I'd say Maury Povich, but it's a guess. Just, uh, yeah, that's just a flat-out guess? You just don't have any flat -out thoughts guess. on that one way or the other? No. Nope. You know, I know Springer was in politics, but he was just a Cincinnati guy, right? That's what he was. Let's go over this. Okay. You've won 64000 If you lose here, you'll be reduced to $32,000. you will lose $32,000. If you make it, of course, $125,000. So you got to figure out, is it worth it to go for $125,000? Yeah. Or lose thirty-two. Uh... Well, John's first thought was my first thought, which was Maury Povich. Why did you think Povich? He's about of the right age. He's, and my understanding of his uh, his politics has been in generally that area. Whew. Is it worth risking thirty-two thousand dollars for? Whew. Wowie, wowie. Um, Let's go see. Let's see move. Well, came here with nothing. Going to leave here with no less than 32. We might as well take a shot. Not bad, it. huh? No, no, not all right. bad at all. Maury Povich. Maury Povich. Final answer. Final answer. Wrong one. Huh? It was... Believe it or not, Jerry Springer. There you go. But you've won $32,000, uh, Brent, and we thank you very, very much for coming by. Good to have a face. Good luck to you. Oh, tough question. You know, he was torn between Jerry Springer and Maury Povich, picked the wrong guy, but he left with $32,000 more dollars than he came here with. Now, if we can move quickly, we've got time for one more fastest finger question. So here it is. Put the following memorable breakups in chronological order, starting with the earliest. Ike and Tina Turner, the Beatles, Donald and Ivana Trump, wham! All right, time is up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest. The Beatles, Ike and Tina Turner, Wham, 
Donald and Ivana Trump. That's the right order. Let's see who got it right now. It is the fastest time, and the winner is Jennifer Mullins. Jennifer Mullins, how are you, darling? Ready to go for a million dollars? Yeah. Want to play? Yeah. Let's go. All right, Jennifer Mullins from uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Married to husband Tom, got two little daughters, right? Yeah. Standing by. How old are they? Uh, 19 months and 6 months. I wonder if he's got them propped up on his knee right now. Look at Mommy. I think he's probably finally gotten them yeah. to bed. And you came up here to New York City with a little advice from your mother. Yes, uh, my mother wanted me to just smile and look pretty and not do any of the funny hand gestures. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Yes, funny hand gestures. We'll be on the lookout for those, Jennifer. Okay. All right, good luck to you. Uh, you know about the rules, right? And you know about the lifelines, 50-50. Ask, uh, ask the audience, phone a friend anywhere in the country. Ready to play? Yes. All right, let's do it. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Billionaire. <laughs> Here it is for $100, Jennifer. Check it out. What did the character Little Bo Peep lose? Sheep, mittens, flowers, pie. Very familiar with these kinds of stories right now, so A, sheep. I'll bet you are, sheep. I mean, uh, yes, yeah, sheep. Uh, final answer? Uh, final answer. <laughs> You're right. Uh, <laughs> Let me tell you how long it's been for me. I thought it was mittens. $200, Jennifer. Here it comes. Which of the following candy is mentioned in the song Take Me Out to the Ball Game? Twizzlers, Jujubee. Cracker Jacks, Sour Patch Kids. Uh, the answer is C, Cracker Jacks. Cracker Jacks, final answer? Final answer. Buy me some Cracker Jacks, you're right for $200. <laughs> okay, well, you know, that sound means we are out of time for tonight, but Jennifer will be back here tomorrow night, raring to go, and joining her will be 10 new contestants who will be flown in from all over the country, and they are... Dee Caldwell, Bob Lando, Nancy White, Reuben Murray, Cynthia Deck, Meredith Mansfield, Derek Leaf, Robert Fustra, Dee Dana, Rebecca Corvassier. Wow, six women tomorrow night, plus Jennifer here. Yes, Tuesday night, ladies' night, on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire.